Hello friends, welcome back to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another set of interview questions for the position of ETL tester. Today we focus only on Unix part and the questions which is asked, right? The questions which I have listed down here, it is how to five years of experience before getting into the questions, right? So please do subscribe the channel. I wanted to hear from you. I wanted to hear from you in the form of comments as well as likes. Okay. So these are the questions which they have asked. These are the questions which they have asked. Let me go with one by one and then we'll answer for you in the will answer for you by opening the Unix terminal. So how to zip the file in Unix? So if you wanted to zip the file in Unix, right? So let's say here, okay, here if you see first, I have I have installed the git bash to simulate the to simulate the Unix. Okay. Now you can see here if you wanted to list down the files, if you wanted to list down the files, you can see here you can list down the files by doing the ls hyphen lrp. Now here what you have to what you wanted to do, you have a two files which is nothing but a Ravindra and Ravindra text. Okay. Here you can see Ravindra, this is one and as well as Ravindra text. Now what you wanted, you wanted to zip this files. You wanted to Give this file. So how you can do that? How you can do that? So simply you can erase it here. Now how you can do that? So simply what you can do? You have a GIF function. Okay, you have a GIF function. Okay, using GIF function simply okay GIF, and then what you can do? What is the file name you wanted to give? Okay, what is the file name for GIF file? For example, I can give SRTech SRTech GIF. Okay, SRTech GIF. Now, what are the files you wanted to first? We'll do the sim single file, pravindra.txt. Okay, pravindra.txt. So I have given only single file I'm giving to zip the file. Now, if you wanted to give it, just you can do that. Now you see, okay, you can list down the whether SRTech zip is created or not. You can see here, SRTech zip is created. You can see here, SRTech zip is created. Now you wanted to, you wanted to do it with multiple files. How you can do that? By simply you can give it Ravindra, Ravindra 2 also, Ravindra 2, Jip. Okay, Jip. Okay. Now till now we have already created the we have already created the Jip file as well. Now you wanted to add, you wanted to add another file. Just you can use the U. U. If you use the U option, automatically you will be able to do the additionally. You can add one more file to the existing Jip file. Now you have added the additionally. What is what is it? Sorry, I have given incorrect here. The window dot two text. Okay, this is the file name I have given. I have to give. Now you can see here the window two dot text, which is so successfully. This is the way you have to answer. We have a if you wanted to chip the files, we have a chip command using that chip command. What is the what you wanted to create? Which chip file you wanted to create? You can use the chip file name here. And then what are the files which you want to do that? And if you wanted to do that directly, you can go ahead and provide the directory here. So automatically it is going to do that. And if you have it, if you have even um, multiple directories in a single single directory, you can use the record suite, you can use it by providing the R. So this is the way you have to answer for this particular question. So first question is done. Now how to cut the specific field, specific field in the Unix? So you have a file. Let me create one simple file. Okay. Let's create okay sample.csp file. Okay. CSP file which we are creating. So using the VI command, you will be able to do that. So once you have done that, right? Now you can create you can here you can, can create first name. Okay. First name and last name. Okay. Last name and salary. Okay. These are the command, these are the columns which we have. So the columns are separated with five symbol. Now here, first name is Aravin, SRTech, okay, SRTech, and then here, what is the last name? Okay, Ravindra Reddy, okay, Ravindra Reddy, then after that, you have a salary, just you can mention 1000, and then here, you can mention again Ravindra Reddy, or not Ravindra Reddy, I'll take my friend's name, okay, Charan, okay, here, you can see, Charan Naidu, okay, then here, you can see, I'll take it as a 1 lakh rupees, okay, 1 lakh, and then I'll take another friend name, surrender. And then here I can take it up, surrender and I do. Okay, then I can take it up to like here. Okay, and another name is Sati, Satish. Okay, Satish. And then here you can take it up, Naidu. Okay, Satish Naidu. In here you can get us 
three lakh rupees. Okay, three lakh rupees. So you have you will have saved this. Okay. Now if you open this file using the cat command, so using the get, you have to edit the file. You are going to create the file. Now you can see here. Now you can you can paste it here. Okay. Once you paste it, or just keep it as a sample CSV. I don't want it. Simply you can use it sample CSV. Now you you see those. You can see first name, last name, as well as salary. You can now do that. Okay. Now you have created the file. Now, what the what is the question here? How you can specific field? So, if you wanted to do that specific field, right? You have to use the cut command. Okay, cut C U T cut command. Now, you have to use the delimiter if you wanted to get the specific field. D D is the delimiter option. Now, here you can provide. What is the delimiter? Five is the delimiter. Okay. Now, what which field you wanted to get it? If you wanted to get first field, then you can use the F one and F one and file name here. Okay, file name here. So automatically you are going to get the exact parent surname package. These are the names which you can get it. Okay, this is the way you can cut the specific field. You can cut the specific field. Now, how how can you find the specific line? How can you find the specific line? When you wanted to find the specific line, right? So you, if you wanted to list down, right? For example, you have it. You have different options which is available. Let's talk about this in the later point of time. Let's talk about this in the later point of time. And at the, at the end, I'm going to clear this. Now, when you when you wanted to do that, when you wanted to do that, right? For specifically on the next question, let's get into the next question. How to create a zero by file creation in the in the units. Okay. So here, if you wanted to do that, right? If you wanted to do zero by file, just you you can use the touch command. So now you can see here srtech.txt or you can give it as a sum, not sample, okay, test.txt, okay. So what it is going to happen, test touch the command which is going to give you the 0 KB file. So now if you list down here, list down here, you can see in the bottom of the screen, you can find it 0 dot test dot test dot txt. This is the way you can find it. Now, when you have a, that is the third, fourth question is answered. How to open how to open the file and update the data in Unix. So if you have if you have a file, right? For example, in this case, let's open the sample. Okay, sample. Here there are multiple ways to do that. Multiple ways to do that. Now, if you wanted to open the file, okay, what you can do, you can open the file. Okay, see here, VA, and then once you open the file, right? Then what you can do, you can you can press I. Okay, if you can press I. By default, it will make you to update. Okay, it is nothing but an insert option. If you see here in the bottom of the screen, okay, here you can see here. Okay, here, here you can see there is a there is a bottom of the screen. You can see this particular thing. Okay, you can see here in the particular thing. What you can see here, you can see here in insert. Okay, insert. Nothing but a once you press I, automatically you will be able to get into the editing mode editing mode now once you do that right now here you can go here now you want it to update it okay now uh, let me add one more time okay so here uh, okay here you can keep it as a ready and then you can keep it as a four lines okay four lines now you can see here data is updated and if you wanted to modify it instead of naidu i wanted to make it as a strawberry okay so you can see here Chaudhary. Okay, this is the way you can do that. Here also you can change it to Chaudhary. Okay, Chaudhary. Now you can change it here. Here also you can change it. Instead of Naidu, you can keep it as a Chaudhary. So this is the one of the thing. Once you have done that, right? Just you press the escape button and you do shift jet jet. Automatically the data going to be updated. Data going to be updated. Now you can see sample.csv. Now you can see the data is updated. This is the this is the what is the way using the VI editor we can do that? Using the VI editor, you can do that. And if you have a Windows CP, you can open the file in Windows as well using the Windows CP. And then you can update it and you can close it. But what if, if I have it? What if, if I have a huge set of data? I cannot able to open the file. I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it within the file. Now there is a way to do that. Okay, there is a SCD command. SCD command. So if you have if you have SCD command, right? Then what you are going to do using SAD command, what you wanted to search, for example, you wanted to search, okay, for example, you wanted to search SRTech, okay, SRTech, you wanted to search, okay, you can keep it as SRTech. Now, 
What you wanted to do that, okay, you have searched the SR tech. Now you wanted to replace with the SR technologies. SR technologies, okay. This let me wipe it out here. Okay. Or let me do one thing. Okay. So let me do one thing here. Just let me keep it to pause. Okay. Here you can see. You can see here. Okay. This is the SCD command. SCD. Okay. SCD. And then you are searching. What you are searching? You are searching for the SR tech. Okay. Then what you are replacing? SR technologies. Okay. SR technologies. And then where you are replacing? You are replacing across the across the file. Okay. Across the file. Now you can open the sample CSV. Now can you can you observe here? What it is happening? SR technologies. Previously, SR tech was there. Okay. Now let me open the existing existing file. Then we will understand. Okay. Here SR technology. This is the original file. After making the changes, you can see that. But here, this SCD, okay, what it does, it is going to run, it is going to change the change the value, but it is not going to write into the same existing file. Just it is going to print the output. But now, if you wanted to make the changes within the same file, then you have to use the you have to use the one of the notation, nothing but one of the option you have to use it. Here, if you use SCD hyphen I, automatically what it is going to do, it is going to make the changes set. Original file, original file. Now you are not going to see any output in the here. So just if you can open it, it is going to make the changes at original file. This is the way you have to answer. You have to answer the which which one fifty percent. So you mentioned multiple things which we have to do that. We, we can you can mention multiple things. You can do that. What is that? What is that? One is one is you have to go ahead and you have to use the Win SCP. Okay. Now to use the Win SCP. Sorry. Win SCP also you can use it to do that. And another one is you can do the you can do the using VA. Another one is you have a you can use the SCD SCD command. SCD. Streaming editor command. Okay. Once you do that then automatically you will be able to do that. So next thing is next thing is okay. How can you how can you do the how can you open the putty terminal? How to open the putty terminal? Okay, here the question will come. Okay, how to open the putty terminal? Now let me share my screen again. Here, if you see right, if you see entire screen, okay, then let me open entire screen. Then you will understand. Here, if I can go to here, here. Just give me one second, please. Start. So, uh, suddenly screen burst. Then. Okay. Now you can see here. Okay. This is the putty tool. Okay. So, if you go to normal, once you install the putty, right? Just so if you can type in the search bar, putty, automatically, once you click on it, automatically it will open this. Okay. This is the putty tool. Okay. So, once you wanted to do that, right? Suppose if you wanted to connect. How to open the putty terminal? Just how you open the Excel sheet or you, how you open the normal Word sheet, right? Word, Word document. Same similar fashion, you can search in the search bar automatically. This will come. Once you install putty, once you click on it, automatically it will open this. Okay, within this, so how to access the Unix server in putty? So here you are going to provide the, for example, 172.10.12.115. Okay, 115. This is the one of the server. Try to understand. Same thing you can keep it here. Okay, you can save it here first time, then on top of it, you can just click on it automatically. It will open automatically. It will open. Once you open, just you have to provide the your username and password. Now I'm in Windows. Again, I'll go ahead and perform. Now if, if I can open automatically, it will throw an error. It will throw an error. So that is the reason I'm showing you this. Now, fourth question. Get back to fourth question. So it's very simple. Mention that. Oh, just I can open the putty terminal by searching that putty and you can open the putty terminal. If you wanted to access the Unix server, just get me the host name. Host name is nothing but that IP. IP, if you do that IP, then automatically IP address as well as port number. If you need port number, by default, it will take some port number. Okay. If you want it, by default, it will take 22. Okay. If they are having some port number, ask them port number, they can provide and automatically, once you click on it, you have to provide the username and password. Once you will enter username and password, automatically 
it will connect to the unix server next please how to how to find how to find the specific line in unix so there are n number of ways okay there are n number of ways to do that one is first is for example you want it okay you want it for example let me do it in a simple way now let me open the cat okay sample.csv now here you see one two three four five okay five and six rows are available six rows are available and empty line also which is available now you want only satish satish is which, which is present one two three four five from top to five and bottom to third okay bottom to third because empty line also present now you want satish okay how can you fetch that so very simple okay what you can do okay there is a easy easy way to do that head okay head head okay head you can do that on sample csv okay if you wanted to fetch okay head iphone 5 okay head iphone 5 now what is the line you want one two three four five okay fifth line you wanted to fetch now you can give head iphone 5 then after that head is nothing but it is going to give you the top 10 top n number of people whatever the mentioning right five five is nothing but it is going to give you top five requests now using the head very simple way you can do this okay once you do this automatically what is going to happen you are able to get the satish okay first it is going to fetch the five records let me show you individually then you will understand so here you can use first five records you got it now top last one you wanted to get it how you can get it if you do tail tail is nothing but it from bottom to it will fetch the one record one record okay if you use the one it will fetch one if you use the two automatically it will fetch the two records okay tail is the one from bottom it will take the record now this is the one of the way now another way of is awk okay awk so this is the awk nr nr equals to five okay nr equals to five sample dot csv but does it support here or not i'm not sure okay it supports in the in git bash also git bash also are you clear so this is the another way of doing it and another way of doing it okay there is a scd command okay scd okay scd if i'm not wrong okay 5p okay 5p and sample.csv i think that is uh, i have to look back that okay scd i have to use one more option that is nothing but a scd iphone n iphone n okay iphone n i have to use it i can get this okay this is the way which we can do that okay Thank you, guys. Okay, please do subscribe and share the channel with others.